Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lighthouse, where we light the way. My name is Light, and I'd like to thank my A-team and the Divine for allowing me to be a crystal clear channel. If you find this message, it was meant for you. I'm going to ring the bell. All right, everybody. I hope everybody has, has been well. Happy Friday. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was just going to pull some random cards, but then Spirit said, gave me a title. So somebody is purposely, purposely making your life hell. Or was purposely making your life hell. Or purposely made, past tense. All of the above. All right, the first card that comes out, I have two cards from my um, Myst, Myst, Mystic Martian Oracle. They said Marsha might be significant as a name. And then they said Martial Arts, Martial Law. I don't like the way that sounds. Oh, Martial as a name. Okay, Merkaba. It comes upside down, number 33. 33 degree Masons might be significant. You see the pentagram. The Merkaba means to ride and is an ancient jewish mystic practice that explains the ge geometric mechanics of interdimensional travel it is often referred to as a chariot the merkaba is a divine light vehicle that contains a crystalline matrix energy when activated and in full motion mer is light ka is spirit ba is body the merkaba is too interlocking id excuse me um, ID might be significant. The Merkaba is two interlocking 3D tetrahedron grid energy forces that are counter-rotating and spinning until they form a divine orb force of light, spinning at light speed, wheels within wheels. It is, it is speculated certain highly advanced ETs have mastered this natural or consciousness technology. Sorry, I put a card. Moving, I'm holding my arm up. The, the, the book of Ezekiel makes reference to the Merkaba and describes it as a sort of flying box of wings that forms the perimeter of a chariot and an angel likeness of a man driving the wheel chariot. All right, the card means uh, movement, vehicle, out of body experiences, or OBE, long distance travel, ascended <clears throat> uh, consciousness, Kundalini activation, charging, action, enrichment, trip. Uh, traveling to foreign planets. So, as I explained, we do not, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't um, come from planet Earth. Um, long, they said long distance travel. Um, see the 33? That might be the six of, um, what is that, six swords? The six of swords is significant. Relocation, long distance travel. They said Grey's Anatomy and, um, oh my God, they show me Grey's Anatomy and uh, Leo da, um, da Vinci, the, the painting, Leonardo da Vinci. All right, somebody was, like I said, um, we're on our path that was purposely making your life hard. Purposely made your life hard. Number 102 and 103 is significant. Number 33 and 34 is significant. Number five is significant. <clears throat> they said the Anunnaki are significant. All right, let's see. Oh, they're showing me a coloring book. Maybe somebody is. They, they, came, they came up but didn't come out. The Anunnaki is significant. I was just listening to um, something about um, Cat Williams talking about the Anunnaki today. And then I started listening to um, reading about Hermes um, Thoth. And the Emerald Tablets, um, I had downloaded them a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm listening to them again. I think I had started it. Um, they said the Book of the Dead. Any any type of reading. Get into, you know, reading and um, that's what's happening. The Merkaba is being activated, activated. Our light bodies are being activated. And that's what ascension means. Um, you see, they said Moon and Sun. Solar and uh, lunar. Uh, well, just reading about all of that today. I, I read um, a lot, as you notice. 
spaceships are significant. Um, <clears throat> the pyramids are significant, not just in uh, Egypt, but uh, worldwide. Um, controlling drama conflict and of interest. I said reconciliation of opposites, Sobek and Horus. You see the palm trees are significant. Palm trees are resilient. They said weebles wobbles, but we don't fall down. Okay? Palm trees bend, but they don't break. Um, but then they're showing me um, coloring book. They said we are the, um, they said, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. So maybe somebody is um, uh, making a coloring book for children or um, they show me what the fuck did you expect? Making a coloring book for children to tell them about the Anunnaki, um, uh, learning about our culture in um, age appropriate material. That's what they're telling me. All right, so guess what? Sunset, um, somebody loves to watch sunsets. We are children of the sun. You see that yellow represents the third chakra, the navel chakra, your crown, your, your, your center of personal power, the Manipura chakra. We are reconnecting with galactic bloodlines, as you see. The mystic, the, they said the modern mystics. That's who we are, mystic. Martian Oracle, we are connecting with galactic bloodlines. We do not come from this galaxy. They said Samsung Galaxy might be significant. Galaxy, um, they show me Galaxy Tab, Galaxy, um, you know, Galaxy products. Samsung Galaxy products might be significant. Um, they said all those space shows might be significant. Um, Star Wars and stuff like that. Return of the Jedi, anything like that. Um, and this is why. This is why. The sun card is a number 19, so that might be significant, or pretty much is significant. Yellow, and you see the orange, that's the second chakra. The red is the first chakra, so one, two, three, three, two, one is significant. Um, we go outside to get downloads from the sun. Upgrades from the sun, activating your light body with the sun. And they show me, you left me no choice. No, we had no choice but to ascend. They show me break the ice. Ooh, wee. When I was shuffling, I didn't get it. I'm thinking, um, they said, what, what was this? Ice skating? Ice sports? Ice hockey? Um, the movie came up, what was it? Breaking, um, breaking, break, ooh, they said breaking bad. But breaking the ice. Remember, um, what is it? Um, what was her name? Kerrigan? Nancy Kerrigan? Broke, or one of them. Um, I forgot, Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan. Remember, she broke her fucking knee. Or some shit like that badly injured her knee. To, see, they show me B, so maybe it was broke. Or B, like I said, B for badly injured. But either tennis, they said tennis is significant. Um, ice skating, ice hockey, ice sports, like I said. Breaking the ice, but like I said, when it came, when I was shoveling, that's the energy I got. But I look at it now, and I'm thinking about sunsets and galactic bloodlines and the Merkaba and the Anunnaki. This is like fucking, you know, a polar shift. It said polar bears. Yeah, that's what's happening. The poles are rotating and we are um, um, experiencing a global, or excuse me, not even just global, planetary shift. Shifting the paradigm, shattering the illusion, draining the fucking swamp and breaking the ice, meeting our new galactic family. Reconnecting with our galactic bloodlines. You know, they, they want to put up all these false flags and all the fucking bullshit to distract you and while all of it is relevant of course it is relevant but it's a little bit of you know just like you can't too much of a good thing is a bad thing so you can't focus on any one thing yes i focus on on p diddy and 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 and, and, and draining the swamp and everything that's happening you know with the elections and you know the judge how he put um judge barrett put this fucking bitch away for nine years that's a hermit card the nine is the change card. Hermit as in peace be still. You're going to sit down in the fucking corner. See the corner there, show me? Sit down in your fucking corner because you've been misbehaving and you're going to think about what the fuck you done. You want punishment now. We are out here, okay? This shit is not going to continue anymore. Angels and the outfit. So now... <clears throat> to break the ice, like I said, the polar ice, wherever the fuck they have shit hidden 
technology that's hidden and things that are about to be revealed because like I said, truth is a frequency, light is a frequency. Light equals information and that's what we're getting, informed. Hmm. They said um, Antarctica or wherever the fuck, um, Antarctica and um, Alaska and wherever they got um, the entrances to, to Middle Earth, Agartha, Middle Earth and all those, you know, higher and lower dimensions and portals and shit. That's what the fuck is happening. We're breaking the ice. Yeah, like I said, reconnecting. They said family reunion, re reconnecting with galactic bloodlines, angelic bloodlines, divine bloodlines, ancestral bloodlines, but the galactic came out because that's what we're talking about. Spaceships. They said um, B.O.B. Spaceships. Software is significant. Software developer, web developer, application developer, data architect, IT is significant, that um, IT software is significant. Maybe um, software, as in we're upgrading the software, up, um, down, downloading new software, and hardware. And maybe they thought you was fucking soft. So they tried, <laughs> they said Rocky Four is significant. Yeah, Rocky, motherfuckers is Rocky now, shit. Rocky Road. They said that um, the ice cream is significant. Rocky Road, it was Rocky Road, but now it's a heavenly hash. That's what they changed it to, I forgot. I think that's Kroger, I believe. They show me Kroger, Kroger um, packaging, software. They thought shit was soft, thought shit was sweet. Didn't realize fat meat was greasy. Oil is significant, getting um, splashed by oil, cook, chef, yeah, mm, okay. Breaking the ice, they said, I must break you. I forgot what he said, Rocky Four. I must break you, or I will break you. And then, um, what was his name, Drago? <laughs> they said maturity is realizing when you get older. You know, people who hate each other in the movies, most of the time, they're in the movies together because they're peoples to begin with. You feel me? They said peoples from Shaft is significant. And what's the other movies we seen the other day? The fucking um, comedy uh, movie, Peoples. Um, where were they? Cape Cod? Not Cape Cod. Um, Sag, Sag Harbor, the Hamptons, Cape Cod, Cape Canaveral, they said. Um, and then they're saying, well, phew, Rockefeller Center, break the ice. Didn't I tell you? They said he's next. He's next. All lies will be revealed 2024. That's what Kat said, right? Breaking the ice. We break in the fucking ice. Okay. Somebody needs a snack. Mm hmm That's what the snack is. Popcorn. They said popcorn. Pop skull. Maybe they wanted to pop your fucking skull. I need a snack. Yes, we're getting the snacks. We're sitting front and fucking center. They said, um, they show me um snacks at the movie theater. Snacks at the, um, a concession stand at the park or a pool or a canteen, um, a luncheon, luncheonette. I need a snack. Mm hmm And we're getting it. <laughs> they said Reese's Pieces. Sorry, not sorry. Oh. They said the RH factor and the PH factor. I see you, Miss Lady. I need a snack. Me too. <laughs> Me too, y'all. Somebody left you no choice. You left me no choice. And this is very ambiguous. They said it's an open-ended question. Okay? You left me no choice. And this goes many, many ways. Man. Oh. Okay. Somebody needed a snack and maybe and they show me I love to watch. Sun snack. Sunsets. They said trail makes a significant peanuts, raisins, and pretzels and shit. Maybe somebody's making um snack uh you know, then you make those little snack uh containers or snack bags, putting snacks to go to the beach, maybe watching the beach, watching the sunset on the beach. But they said lookout point. Mm -hmm. Making out. You left me no choice. I need a snack. Hmm. All right. Something about being on cloud nine. Well, we're going to cloud nine. That's what ascension is. We're ascending to cloud nine. Like I said, the nine. They said the rule of nines is significant. 
on cloud nine. Nine is the change card in the Kipper deck, and it is a hermit card, like I said. That's where we're ascending to, cloud nine. I think ninth, the ninth um, density, and I say density because people use the, the word dimension and density interchangeably, and that's not always correct um, because there are several uh, dimensions within any one density. So I say that to say cloud nine means the hermit. Cloud nine means whatever you want it to be. You left me no choice on cloud nine. Nine, life path number nine could be significant. My life path number is nine. I was born in the month of nine. I was born at the hour of nine. And uh, four and five, I turned 45 a couple weeks ago. Oh, about a, coming, yeah, about three weeks ago now. And um, so three weeks is significant. Uh, uh, 21 days is significant. They said 21 questions, like I said. Three, one, two, three, three, two, one is significant, like I said before. Um, hmm, one, two, three equals six. And so six, the number six and nine is significant. Like I said, um, nine and six represents the crown chakra. As in, like I said, getting enlightenment. And this could be enlightenment too, like the sun card, the yellow. You left me no choice. We had no choice but to ascend. You beat me down so much that I had no choice but to ascend. Purposely making your life hard. These people purposely made your life hard. Want to steal your destiny. Want to steal your future, but leave you out your own future. They said money, power, respect, what you need in life. Like I said, you see the light. Um, so 9999 is significant. Um, as an angel number, 999 also means the end of a cycle. Like I said, 21. Uh, 921 is significant. Um, surrender to the divine. That's what we're doing. We had to surrender. They show me 39 um, on my card. Um, there's, there's a water on it. Surrender to the divine. You see what's happening. You see the news, right? There's flooding and people and um, sinkholes opening up. Um Houses slip sliding off cliffs into the water. Man, listen. Are you listening? Y'all listening or not? The water represents the intuition. It represents the emotion. Because the collective consciousness is unhealed. Whew. You do the math. Okay? You do the math. And look. When the ice breaks, the ice melts, doesn't it now? They said icebreakers. And the, and the, the dentine, they show me poor hygiene. Dentine, breaking the ice. Oh, shit. They show me, remember ice skating? Um, They said Murray skating rink. <sighs> Everything makes sense, man. Everything makes sense. Ice skating is significant. Like I said before, um, ice skating rinks are significant. Um, surrender, Surrendering to the divine. That's what we had to do. They said, get on my knees and pray. That's what we had to do on cloud nine. 999 is the reset, like I said. Hmm. This is what comes up. Whatever that means to you. Baby shark, mommy shark, shark spirit is significant. Shark tank. Let me take you to another world where it's just you and me. They said, a whole new world. And then they said, when a hero comes along, Disney is significant. All right, purposely, purposely, this is where we're going, to another world, back home. Back home to the higher realms. Purposely making your life hard. Trying to purposely dumb you down, and now how stupid do you feel? You see the 19 card? So that clarifies the sun card, and it also clarifies the coffin card. They're showing me the casket card and the tea leaf reading. So funeral homes might be significant. 2019 is significant. 1920 is significant. 1934 is significant. I've been saying that for a long time. Then I listened to a seminar yesterday. Um, sometimes I'm in phases of listening. Right now I'm in phases of reading. Excuse me. I've been in phases of reading and now I'm in phase, I'm phases of listening. Listening to the, um, the information that I tell you that sometimes I have downloaded for two, three years, but... Um, just like any, you know, anything else, you are privy to the information, even if you've had access to, you know, like what I'm saying, I've had access to some things, but I'm just now listening to it because it's, it's a puzzle. 
you know, when you, when, if you listen to things or get information before it's time, you won't understand it. So it's like a puzzle piece. And that's why I tell you all the time, there's no way you can watch any one movie just one time because with different levels of understanding, different levels of consciousness, you get different messages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they show me baby shark, but they show me like wildlife and, um, oh, the, the aquarium. There you go, the aquarium. And maybe somebody needs a snack at the aquarium. They show me, I love to, I need a snack. You left me no choice. And then they show me, oh, somebody needs a snack because they, they show me left. You left me no choice. We had to buy a snack because somebody left the snacks at home. That's what they show me. Somebody left the snacks at home. <laughs> this is another energy. Somebody left, left me no choice. Said that I need a snack. Okay, they went out. But they left the snacks at home and the kids are on cloud nine because now they get to they say make the house now they get to go to eat out because the snacks and the, the meals were left the meals that were packed at home were left at home maybe purposely no not really purposely it really was an accident but now the kids are on cloud nine <laughs> okay You know what they said? Tears from Heaven. Is that Tears from, Tears from Heaven? Is an Eric Clapton song. I didn't mean that. Is it Tears from, Tears from Heaven? Would you be the same if I saw you in heaven? That's what they say. Eric Clapton is significant. But I meant, um, I think there's a movie called Tears from Heaven or something like that. But this little boy died and he went to heaven and he came back to describe what it was like. That's what, they, that, that's what they're telling me. That's what they're showing me. Spill the beans. This is what we're doing. Spill the beans. This is the Eight of um, Wands. Clear communication. A clear path. Clear path to cloud nine. What the fuck did you expect? Nothing that you could do this lifetime is going to stop us. These people purposely making your life hard. Yesterday, I, um, I ran into somebody. And this person might be watching this channel. Shout out to you, sir. Um, thank you for your energy. Thank you for the willingness to listen. So many people want change, but when it comes to them, they want to stay in their comfort zone. That's not how you grow. That's not how you evolve. That's not how you expand. That's not how you educate. That's not how you heal. I say that to say, if you are watching, this is this part of this message is for you. You're going to get everything back that you, that was stolen. These people wanted to dumb us down so badly and for so long. Matter of fact, they said, let me finish the sentence. That they thought that we, you know, that they, they wanted to, 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 to snuff out our light. That's what they show me. They said, like I said, Ascension. Ascension Thursday, Easter Sunday. Go back to my readings about Easter and um, Christmas and um, Ishtar and the, the secretion and why they named, you know, uh, why he's named Santa Claus. Look up all of that. This is figurative language that they put in different sacred texts for you to figure out code, cheat codes can only come when you raise your vibration. Otherwise, you're still going to be sleeping and still be able to um, be fooled. And that's what it is, cognitive dissonance. When, you, when your vibration is so low, you can be presented with information that you refuse to believe is true because... Of several different reasons we're not gonna get into that but if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about uh, you can't tell a fool anything only fools know everything a wise man knows a wise man knows that they only fools know everything but I'm, I'm chopping it said chopped in school is significant I'm chopping up the proverb but look it up and maybe proverbs is significant old adages and proverbs um, Proverbs in the Bible, but I mean, you know, like I said, old wives' tales, old adages, old proverbs um, are significant. They want us to dumb us down so bad that uh, they want you to second guess yourself. They want to fuck with your crown, your personal power, your throne, swap your fucking destiny and keep you out of your own destiny. And like I said, these people do this shit for generations. And they, and, and, and they wanted to continue to do it, but so much is happening at this point in time. Um, reconnection with galactic bloodlines, that's what the fuck is happening. Spilling the beans, what the fuck did you expect? <laughs> they said white trash party, um, Eminem. Stalking, intimidation, confrontation. They said this is the last card, 13. Like I said, the death card. Letter M. 
Greco-Roman, number 13. Uh, blue avians are significant. I will tell you, I believe Gonzo is a blue uh, avian. The avians are um, birds. Lyrans are significant. We always are. They show me the mantis beings. MIB. And those movies are significant. MIB. The MIB men in black are also known as Horlocks. H-O-R-L-O-C-K-S. They are android. Lo excuse me. They are android. Biosynthetic humanoids were supposedly manufactured by the Alpha Draconians. I got to read that again. I don't think I ever read this. Um, the men in black are also known as Horlocks. They are android biosynthetic humanoids supposedly manufactured by the Alpha Draconians. Encounters with MIB have been recorded since the mid 40s. Like I said, 1934, they show me the movie A Beautiful Mind. They typically wear black suits with dark sunglasses and are extremely sensitive to sunlight. More recently, MIB has been reported wearing stylized, sophisticated and upgraded outfits. Being biosynthetic androids, MIB have a creepy, deliberate, crude, soulless, and strange appearance. Their movements are mechanical, awkward, and often uncoordinated, and their peculiar and their peculiarly emotionless presence is described as spongy and macrobie. Excuse me, macrobie. <laughs> and macabre. The MIB, that maybe macrobie is or haraby, laramby, is it? The, um, the MIB makes selected intimidation visits to specific people who have had UFO alien encounters or bizarre paranormal experiences. Witnesses have reported MIB driving black automobiles into canyons, mountains, and tunnels where they appear to have simply de dematerialized. Card meaning stalking, creepy, intimidation, confrontation, threats, spying, interfering, molding, uh, intrusive, um, gossiping, um, petty-minded theft, and clumsy. Excuse me, they said to leave it there, but um, phew, man, more information is coming. Open up your mind. Do not be afraid. Ask your ancestors to assist you. You guys be well. See you next video.